Uh, welcome to this pilot session of a model approach to council meetings online, running council meetings by webinar. This is something which a government has now approved. Uh, it approved it yesterday, Thursday, the 2nd of April, and it becomes uh, lawful from, officially lawful, legally lawful from tomorrow, Saturday, the 4th of April, 2020. So this is something that's going to be a, a, a useful tool for the 9,000 town and parish councils in England. As far as going forward is concerned, uh, we should be looking some, there will be possibly some extra whittle written guidance made available to councils. Uh, this uh, PowerPoint uh, or a slightly altered version of it after today's pilot can be made available. There's a model um, agenda that we've been using and there may be some other guidance which will give advice on what to do about whether or not to use video, uh, anything about equipment, uh, any other issues about logging in which may have uh, uh, come up which SLCC can share and there is also it is possible with this software to actually have a public forum uh, which uh, some councils may wish to do other councils may not wish to do but one thing about the regulations is that they still require public to be able to listen in to public uh, meet, to meetings of, of councils. That hasn't changed. They haven't changed anything about quorums either. So this is really about using the technology to do essentially what we've always done. So let's go forward. So the first part of, of this presentation is going to be the background. This is the information that would be available to a clerk and council to uh, read up on and look at in advance of having a, a test meeting of their own. The second part of this presentation is in fact the test meeting and uh, there, there we go. The screen we're looking at now on the left uh, is a picture from uh, a parish council. Uh, there are a couple of pictures in this presentation, its current form that require um, it would be uh, good for us just to check with the people concerned that information the images are in the public domain just to make sure that they're happy with them continually being used. But there we are. So this is where we start. So as we've just said, um, Thursday the 2nd of April, government approved new regulations formally permitting town and parish councils to meet online. Uh, you can see on the screen there, this is the the URL, the link to those regulations, which somebody's got up on the legislation.gov. UK website very promptly. Uh, the regulations uh, are quite broad in their description of what software or system to use for your meetings, um, but they certainly still require the press and public to be able to listen in. So that's where we are on compliance. How it can work. Uh, meeting online means the council has to take out a license for some webinar software or another. That has to be done. Uh, the clerk is required to place meeting papers on the council website. That's uh, actually in the regulations, the new regulations. The clerk can prepare a summons uh, to councillors with the login information on it. Uh, the login is also uh, needs to be available to the public in order to be able to dial in and look at the uh, uh, and listen to the debate. The clerk can prepare any table papers on PowerPoint. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. PowerPoint is very convenient. Uh, if there's an online library, if there's something that's part of the system that keeps that information, that's another option. But anyway, there is stuff that will be shown on the day, which may not be able to be shown in advance. People need to have their own a computer with uh, audio or, uh, or a smartphone. Uh, today, we're trying uh, both of those. I think we've got a smartphone, we've got an ordinary phone, and we've got people on computer. So that's great. We're trying this out. And then the clerk, the chairman, go and manage the actual meeting as usual. So that's that's the process. Pros and cons of doing it this way. This may not seem uh, uh, ideal for every town and parish council. They'll have to, to weigh these things up. Clearly, um, there's no transmission of, of the virus. People can be self isolated and still take part. The meeting is actually easily controlled. And if, if anything, it's more easily controlled than usual. Um, and uh, in terms of the future, uh, when uh, the um, current pandemic has uh, reduced. There are still good things about doing it this way. It's good for the environment. There's no car journeys to meetings. Uh, there's no uh, printing of papers or no or excessive printing of papers. So there are good things about it. There is an extra annual cost for the software to the council. Clerks will need a bit more training and do a bit more preparation. Councils will obviously need to use the system. 
uh, you can't read faces and somebody is bound to complain because it's a change and uh, somebody always does, so there we are. There are several software programs on the market which you can use. Uh, we're using today GoToWebinar or go to, from GoToTraining, which is the system that the SLC has used for many a time. Uh, there's a price on the screen for the current rate. Uh, the SLC is working to find a, a, a deal so they make, it, make the package more readily available to councils. There is a different approach from Zoom, another very well-known uh, webinar software. Yeah. Uh, they have a process of, uh, we can have it free for up to a 40 minutes meeting, which is a bit short, but might be good for a training session. It's about 120 pounds plus VAT per annum for the, the, the straightforward version with options for add-ons. So instead of, sort of, if you like, buying it all in at once, they, they, it's more of a graded approach from Zoom as far as I can make out. There are other systems, I haven't mentioned them by name here, which are less manageable online systems that don't work for more than the more group and every user has to have their own account and license with these packages the council just needs the license and invite people to join in and it's fairly straightforward try before you buy um, the link there is to a, a seven days free trial of the go to webinar uh, software you can try that um, and the free version of zoom that i've mentioned can be accessed through that uh, url there so do check it out and see which one you feel might be best. For this uh, practice, this training seminar, this training webinar, I should say, we've looked at typical meeting agenda items, uh, apologies for absence, declarations of interest, meetings, planning, finance, and Oasis Clark's report. There can be more things in, in, uh, which we can add in when we get more familiar with the process and the system, but these seem to us to be the, the, the bedrock, the basic things that need to happen. How does that work in practice when we're doing this online? We send out an email uh, uh, with a summons, with the logins, people can also email back giving apologies for absence, that's straightforward. The declarations of interest, um, the councillors will be invited to speak internal text during the webinar. Uh, the minutes, uh, which would have been put on the uh, website beforehand, there's a process for approving them, either by raising their hand, go to webinar or, or equivalent function of some other software. The planning applications, the key images in particular, need to be made available for people to look at. Putting them on PowerPoint is straightforward. Similar with invoices and finance, information can go on a presentation which can be shown live. It's great. Uh, Clark's report, very much the same approach. In general, uh, we suggest keeping meetings to the necessary finance and urgent items only, at least to start with. Uh, rather than going around the, the table inviting members to speak, um, we would uh, suggest going back to basics if you say people if the people really want to have something on the agenda to discuss that, that they request it through the clock um, as you know in a normal way so that's how we can see it working online so the next few bits is about what the clock uh, needs to do before generating an online meeting uh, we've got the instructions to follow shortly about uh, how it, it is uh, arranged using the go to webinar software with an invitation that goes out to participants uh, we still have to note uh, that the quorums still need to be observed. That's, there's been no relaxation of that in the government regulations. The government regulations require us to uh, alter our standing orders. There may be some uh, model altered standing orders available shortly, uh, but there is a question about checking whether to most, at least a quorum of all councillors, preferably all can access online meetings in one way or another. And certainly we would suggest councils have at least one practice meeting with members before going live. Uh, maybe it's a, a, a smaller meeting on a, on a different topic or, or it's just simply going through this particular exercise. So here is a, some schematics of the go-to webinar process for creating a webinar. Uh, again, whichever software you're using, there will be similar guidance. Uh, Zoom, for example, has little training um, uh, videos that you can see online. So you create a training on your dashboard, um, you select the time, the details, and the date. Uh, then you, uh, when you're going for preparing for the meeting, you can add the gender and any other papers at Medema and uh, make that information available as well. And then the software generates uh, joining instructions, which you then email to councillors uh, and also make available to the public in the appropriate way. Here's a slightly bigger print version of what that final thing looks like. Again, it will vary a bit from different software, but that's what it looks like uh, on GoToWebinar. So that's where we are with, with, uh, with that. So whichever system you're using, there will be a process that the clerk will need to burn up and follow. 
Again, technical specifications. Um, go to webinar, require a minimum of two megabytes of RAM on whichever piece of equipment you're using, plus microphone and speaker. Uh, if there are any technical issues during the course of it, you may need someone who's not chained the mission to respond to login and technical issues. Uh, it's that could be the clerk if um, if that's appropriate. It may even be appropriate to think about having a third person who does that if the clerk's going to be busy. This is happening during the meeting, so that's a thought there. Uh, there have been some uh, common problems that from that people have found from logging in and using software in the past. This is uh, something that uh, can be made available. Uh, you know, sharing good practice, sharing you know, common issues as we go forward. So we're going to do a practice meeting using the GoToWebinar system. Uh, there's a model agenda we've prepared for this practice. Uh, so we suggest attendees keep a copy before them, particularly if they're using a smartphone. Um, so we need to agree for the practice who will take the role of chairman. It may be the actual chair of the council or it may be another person. Uh, again, who would take the role of the clerk. I suspect that would probably need to be the clerk. There we are. Uh, and everybody else would be councillors. Uh, and with this practice, we are suggesting one councillor is uh, note, noted in advance to declare an interest in a planning application. So the clerk, uh, whoever is managing the meeting, note how to mute all the attendees so that the press and public can only listen. And then obviously unmute uh, people who the councillors were able to speak during the course of the actual meeting, we recommend that councillors remain muted and then unmute themselves when they're invited or it's their turn to speak. Um, but the critical thing about these meetings, the press and public are uh, able to, to log in. Obviously, we don't want them making noises or otherwise interfering with the meeting. Uh, we're suggesting now and we would suggest in the future on the people doing their first practicing to make notes, we involve make notes during the practice about how you feel how the process works uh, to share at the end of the meeting. And of course, uh, there will be people you can call if there are some difficulties that you can't see the answer to straight away. And we will find that to make that information available. Right, so we're coming up to a meeting of Newtown Parish Council. Uh, this is the agenda, welcomed by the chairman. Um, I've put webinar in brackets because it, it may be that the, uh, the webinar is <coughs> uh, at least technically controlled by somebody who isn't the chair of the council, but there we are. And then there's the usual agenda items that follow on from that. So we'll now be going to go through that. So um, I'll go uh, and I'll now pass the control of the meeting to somebody that's going to manage it. And I think I'm giving control to, where are we? Um, oh, I'm, I'm the other presenter, yeah. Uh, I should be on this year, the I've presenter. I've got Andrew. It. So if I click on that, change presenter, and you are, I'm going to click a button and hopefully it's now you. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, okay. Over to you. It is indeed. Sorry, what well, I don't have, Andrew, this is really bad. I don't have the PowerPoint open. I do apologise. It's all right. Okay, no so I'm I am going to be the clerk today. Um, so the first thing I'd like to do is actually check to make sure everybody um, can use the system and knows what they're doing. So there's a little box on the right hand side, um, and if you click the orange button, it uncovers the. Um, chat space at the lower end of the pane. Uh, can you please mute mobile phones if you've got them? Please use full screen to ensure you can still access papers uh, and for use when responding during this online meeting. So you can do that all from that little control panel. So if we have a quick check, can everybody please put their hands up so I know everybody can hear and everybody can use the system. Um, Councillor Mark, can you put your hand up please? Lovely. So we know everybody can use the system. Everybody knows what we're doing. That's brilliant. So 
sign in. So please use the orange arrow symbol to uncover the chat space to text a message. Councillors, please type in your first name and press send. Uh, you can also minimise the section, other sections, so the pane takes up less space. But if we can just do that, then again, I know everybody's got the access to the time. That's lovely. Um, brilliant. So we all know we can type. So, uh, we now? Um, so now I'm going to hand over to the chairman because we know that all the technical stuff works. Uh, so, Councillor Roberts, you are going to be our chairman today. Sorry, maybe you mean Thank dim, you. but I can't see that on my smartphone. I can't see that, that, that orange with the thing. Ah, OK, that might be something we need to look at um, and add an advice note to go along with this PowerPoint, Andrew. It, it might be mean dim, but I certainly can't see it anywhere. Yeah. OK, I see everything else. OK. That's fine. You can put your hand up, though. We've had your hand up, haven't we? So that's uh, fine. Yes, I can do okay, that. Yep. We'll, we'll have a look at that. Um, and as I say, probably add some kind of advice note to go with this. So, yeah, Councillor Roberts, I'm going to pass over to you as chair. Thank you very much, Yvonne. I'd like to welcome everybody here today to our council meeting, uh, which is being done um, by a virtual meeting. Um, so, welcome to everybody. Could I first ask if um, we have any apologies for absence? I know that we have received apologies from Councillors uh, Johnson and Corbyn. That's correct. <laughs> And if we move on to declarations of interest, um, has anybody um, present been asked to give an apology? Uh, sorry, has anybody got any declarations uh, that they would like to make? Any interest oh. relating to any item on the agenda? Okay, Councillor Sitwell has got his hand up. So if you'd like to tell us. Uh, yeah, a, the planning application on item five is uh, for my property. Um, so I have a pecuniary interest in that and will excuse myself from the room um, effectively by leaving the webinar when you reach that item. Thank you. OK, thank you. We will ask you to do that when we get to that point. So now if we can go on to the minutes. Has everyone seen the minutes of the last meeting? And has anybody got any amendments that they would like to propose? No? No. Can anyone see? Has anyone raised their hands? No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Uh, Councillor Towleton has got a hand. Did sorry, you want sorry, to make my, an amendment? No, no, my apology. I'm still trying to work out get this orange thing. Sorry. My apology. Uh, okay. Okay. No worries. Okay, so are we all happy that I can sign these minutes on behalf of you all? If we do that hands? by show of hands, yeah. I can't see the show of hands, so if you wouldn't mind telling oh, me. Oh, OK. No, that's fine. Everybody has raised their hands. Every, lovely. OK, yeah. so that is I will sign these minutes on your behalf. OK, if we can go on to the planning. OK, we've one planning application to consider. Um, and this is a council uh, Bovis as he's declared an interest. So are you leaving us at this point? Hello? Yeah, he's left. OK, so Councillor Bovis has actually left the meeting. Um, so he has put a planning application in to extend his house. Uh, on down down your way, um, councillors have been sent a link to the application on the district council website, and I will, I will show some plans in detail shortly. If councillors have any concerns, would they raise their hands now? Um, when invited by the chairman, please text your comment. Chairman will then summarise all comments and vote. If there are no comments, we will respond no objections. And here is the application. OK, 
Okay, I can't see on my screen um, when people raise their hand. So if oh, okay. you tell me. Okay, they haven't as yet. So if you want to ask them if they yeah. are happy so, with that. Uh, you, if you've all seen the plans, um, if you have any comments, could you raise your hands now? That no. Uh, so, um, yeah, can, Councillor Galbraith wanted to make a comment. Okay, Councillor. Would you like to make your comment? Uh, Councillor Galbraith, can you, you hear can, me? You can unmute um, yourself and speak if you'd like. Well, hang on, has he texted? Oh, my apologies, I was okay, typing, I'm... sorry. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, uh, Chair. Uh, yes, yes. I, I think the plans are excessive in terms of scale and massing. OK, um, so that's one person and therefore are you objecting to this? Uh, yes. OK, so I have one objection. Would anybody else like to support that objection? Please raise your hand. Uh, now, Councillor no. Towleton is, is. Oh no, Councillor Maliphant has raised his hand. Okay, Councillor, would you like to uh, comment? You, you, you have, are supporting the objection, are you? Yes, I agree with uh, Councillor Galbraith and with his comments very much so. Okay, so uh, how, how many are we left in? Um, so we have Councillor another two, McGill? yourself and Councillor McGill. Um, okay. Hang on, so I have Councillor McGill because he has no mic. Okay. So um, I have two objections. Myself, I don't have a problem um, with this, so I would not object. Um, could no. I ask anyone else who is not objecting to raise their hand? This is for a yeah. no objection. Councillor McGill also doesn't object. He's typed that in. And who have we left then? Well, that's it. So, um, two of us. So, two for and two against. Oh, no, we've got uh, Councillor Towleton. So, we don't know okay. which way Councillor Towleton. No, no, no. So, uh, Councillor Towleton, are you voting for or against this application? Are you for it or against it? I'm for, but I've just had a slight technical issue, but I've had to log in and log out. Oh, OK. But you're happy with it? Yes. OK, brilliant. So um, I would like to so that would say that there are um, to propose to not object to this um, application um, on a vote of three eyes and two against. OK, that's brilliant. Thank you, Chair. I should just um, okay. let Councillor Bovis know that he's he can rejoin us. Please. And once he has rejoined us. Yeah, just give him a quick call just to tell him. Hello. Okay, Councillor Bovis, you can rejoin us. Thank you. Okay. Just quickly make that telephone call. That's probably the easiest thing. I, I can't text very quickly. So if we move on to the next one while he's rejoining us, it shouldn't take him long. Yes, if you'd like to go on to the, the finance and we're going to receive the monthly financial report. Yep, OK. Uh, Councillor Bovis is back with us. The monthly financial report has been circulated to councillors and posted on the council website. Um, the only cost heading that has exceeded the 15% of the agreed annual budget is training due to the clerk agreed attendance at this year's SLCC National Conference that wasn't foreseen when we did the budget last year, unfortunately. Um, if a councillor has any questions about the report, please would you raise your hand to speak uh, and unmute the old line. Has nobody got any comments? Doesn't look like there's any comments with that chair. Okay, oh, so no... no, that's fine. No, I've no comments regarding that. No. OK, so if there are no comments, um, can I um, say um, that we are proposing to accept and note these financial reports? Can you all raise your hand? We're all happy to accept this report and agree it. 
Yeah, that's that's yep. everybody's in agreement with that. Thank okay, you. so if we can move on to the approval of payments of outstanding invoices. Yeah, again, these are all the outstanding payments. These are the ones I need um, resolving from the council, please. I don't know if there's anything there. Anybody wants to ask me any questions about that? Any payments? So if you have any questions, please, can you raise your hands? Any hands raised there? No, no, that no. looks like that's OK, Chair. So if there are no questions, could I ask somebody to raise their hand to propose that these um, payments are agreed, approved? Yeah, um, Councillor McGill. Second uh, Councillor Galbraith put his hand up second, I believe. Ashin, and can you all raise your hands to say that you approve? Yeah, they're approved unanimously. Perfect. Lovely. So um, if those payments are get to be paid and if we can move on to the clerk's report, please. Um, yeah, this is just just um, as uh, to show you a one of the invoices we received um, under normal circumstances. I would probably put all of these on here with any personal details blocked out. That's how I would manage that under no normal circumstances. Um, Payment approved. If the councillor has any questions about this invoice, um, we've, we've kind of done that, haven't we? Raise hands on the second approval. So we've approved invoices, haven't we? Uh, sorry, class report. I have circulated a bullet point report to councillors, which is posted on the council website, and we'll, I will share headlines shortly. If a councillor has any questions about the report, Please, would you, they raise their hand to speak and unmute their line when the chairman invites them. So headline, bullet points, sorry. No, no, sorry, no, carry on. Um, the government has advised we continue online meetings at least for the next three months. Councillor Awol has tendered his, their resignation. Notices will be going up advising electors to contact district council if they would like to request a by-election. But this needs 10 people to request it. Otherwise, we will be able to co-opt a member. Um, at this time, we don't know when an election would take place, obviously. Our insurance have advised that we need to carry out a tree safety survey on our land at least every three years, or our insurance for accident may, be, uh, may not be valid. The cost would come out of our ample reserves. Please would councillors raise their hands to approve the ongoing tender. Sorry, Chair, that should be you asking people to approve that. Uh, yes, no, please, could we do that? Has anyone got any questions uh, with this? Um, the one question I might ask um, is, you're saying that are we wanting to um, approve the ongoing or do we think that we might want to get some ongoing three quotes to see what else there is in the area? I don't know if anyone has any thoughts on that. Okay, um, Andrew Balafant, you've got your hand up, Councillor. Have you got a question Council. for us? Go ahead, Councillor. Councillor Malafant, you're but you're, yeah, um, sorry. Um, yes, I've turned a text as well. Yeah, I'm agreeing with the chairman that we, we should go for three quotes as usual. Yeah. Okay. Can, okay. Uh, so if that's seconding, can I just ask you all to raise your hands if you would like us to ask the clerk to get three quotes uh, for this survey? Yeah, everybody's uh, everybody's agreed with that, Chair. So we'll do that. Perfect. Thank you. If you wouldn't mind doing that for us, and then please, Yvonne. Yeah. Okay. So that's the next item. Okay. Well, I think that went very well. Thank you um, for your attendance. Uh, our next meeting will be on Monday, the fourth of May, at. 7 p.m. Um, and again, please text us if you have your apologies in advance. And I look forward to seeing you all virtually again. Thank you.